Hello, and welcome back to Getting Comfortable with Meal Garden for Nutrition Professionals. This is episode two, Personalizing Your Meal Garden. My name is Jeff. I'm your onboarding specialist and a co-founder at Meal Garden. And I put this series together to help you get up to speed with Meal Garden quickly to really get a sense of how the tool is going to help you. And really, there's three main goals for Meal Garden. It's going to make it really easy for you to create nutritional content. It's going to make it really easy for your clients to use that nutritional content content as a roadmap to their success and build the habits that they need for long-term success. In addition, Meal Garden is going to enable you to use the nutritional content to attract and engage with new clients. In this episode, we're going to look at setting up your settings, your profile and branding, and default cover pages for PDFs. Let's head on over to Meal Garden started. So I'm going to click here. I'm going to click into account settings. This is what your meal garden probably looks like now. And uh, the first thing we're going to do is just quick click on settings, make sure our time zone's set up, make sure our measurements are set up. Measurements will flow through to your clients and are used for recipes, building recipes and displaying recipes, as well as the shopping list for yourself and your clients. So there are imperial and metric. I'm only the minus metric. Then I click back to the details page. I'm going to start working on my profile. So your profile is what shows up at the bottom of your content online and is also used on your default signup page. So this is what uh, kind of your stamp on your content. First thing we're going to do is add a profile picture. No big deal. Over here, grab my headshot. Use these little buttons to set it up. Go save. All right. I'm also going to add my display name. I'm just going to go F. Okay, and you'll see that the display names override the other names in there. I'm also going to upload a back, there we go, a background for my profile. Okay, and then the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of a write-up here. So I've actually put something together in advance. So I'm going to go about, and I'm going to drop my Calendly link in here as well. Really simple, easy to use tools. Here we go. Let's save. Okay, so there. Now this is what people will see when they, they click on my content online, or if my client clicks on the content before they uh, they download it or access the system. Okay. All right. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go over here to branding. And what we're going to do is, as you can see here, we can change the background colors. The logo in Meal Garden is a horizontal logo. A lot of folks have um, more of a square logo. So what we've done is we've actually created a template here. This is the perfect size to play with your logo. So you might want to play around with this and maybe put your logo in here and add some content and just kind of make it look great. If that's, that's up to you. Uh, you can also just take the Meal Garden logo if you want and change it, change the color of it very easy to do but it is hor it is a horizontal logo versus a square so take take that into account when you're adding it i'm just going to go ahead and hit replace I'm gonna add my logo okay i'm going to change the background color i'm going to use this little button now you may not have this button if um if you're not using google and you're not on a mac it might be a little different for you but see you can also change the font there's a few different fonts and you can change the text color as well Last thing you can do is you can add a mobile app button and a name for your mobile app. So when your clients add your app to their uh, their phone, th this is what will show up, right? So you can say Coach F's app. That's fine. Go ahead and save. The last thing we're going to do here is we're going to click on cover page and we're going to add a cover page. So this is the cover page that will be used as default when you print out PDF. So again, it's just a way to make things a little faster for you. You have four different layouts you can use. You have a little message that you can put in here. I've already put one in here. And again, it's pretty easy to do. You can hit preview cover page. Okay, there's what a, your cover page will look like. You know, meal plan and was there. So you can kind of really easy to check that out. And you can change the cover page on any of your content. But if you don't want to think about it and you just want to get in and get out, it's a good idea to use a cover page. Okay. All right. So that is... Let's go back to our presentation here. So we looked at settings, profile, and branding. We looked at your default cover pages. And then we looked at the Canva templates to help you get going. We didn't look at the Canva templates. So let's go back here. And what you'll notice is 
in the comments of the YouTube video as well as the tutorial section on your meal garden is we've added links to a bunch of templates that we've designed. So you can use the actual templates, just download them, edit them, download them as uh, pings, right? So, or you can create your own. We've made these just to make it easier for you to get going, right? So we have some custom cover pages here. We have some mobile M icons. So it's just making it easier for you to figure this out. You can use our templates or you can just use these blank pages to create your own. And then you just hit download and away you go. Canva is not a meal garden tool. Um, I'm guessing you're familiar with Canva. If you're not, go over and get an account. It's a spectacular tool and it'll really help you get your meal garden looking great, okay? What's next? We're gonna pop on over and look at working with pre-made content and get into sharing and integration and really help you get off to the, to the right start here, okay? So thanks so much for joining me to the end of the video. Um, if you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the YouTube comments or head on over to Meal Garden, hit on, click on help and communicate with me directly. Thank you so much uh, for helping people live a healthier life and uh, we'll see you in uh, episode three. Take care.